I... <clears throat> We're gonna cut this part out. That's why they invented trim. So you could have to put the trim to ride. Just start with <clears throat> Alright guys, welcome back to Cubes Infinity. Eli over there, Sebastian right here, and today we're doing the Siamese edition of modding. This is probably going to be a very simple video, self-explanatory probably, but let's get started with the most common and obvious one. The 3x3 three three Siamese. Siamese. Siamese, sorry. So, uh, you can take out the orange and blue and white yellow bar. Alright, so the first thing you want to do when you're modding your 3x3 three three is take out the same, there are two different bars from each of them. But they don't it, have to be the same color, just for no. color scheme purposes. Look and see it. So, for example, when you, Sebastian, you did it wrong. Interesting. Did you do it wrong? I think you did it wrong. <laughs> oh, well, as you can see, he was supposed to take out this bar. I was just testing him. Yeah, apparently I failed. Alright. And so when you're modding your Siamese, right? Yeah, Siamese cube. All right, so when you're modding your Siamese cube, you want to take out two bars. You, you also have to play around with it for a little bit. Find the two bars you want out so you get the best color scheme. Get a little bit of sandpaper and super glue. And then get ready to do some modding. If I can get this piece in. All right. So now look. Since you have your two sides, you're going to want to put them together like this, or like this, whichever way you want the most color showing. We're so doing blue because... We're doing blue with the most. So we're going to do it like this. You have a lot of blue, give you a lot of red, a lot of green, and a lot of orange. You're going to want to glue the two bars together that, for us, look at this. Wait, can I see that demonstration? Sure. Since we're doing this, you see how it um, hides the red and orange bars? So... The red bar is already glued because of some complications, but we now have to glue the orange bar. I'll show you how. Yes. You should probably have all it. you should probably have all your supplies out and ready before you start your modding. You get some paper towels. It just makes it a whole lot easier mess. Place your spare pieces wherever you want them. It doesn't really matter. You're not going to use them again. Until you break your other pieces, you have to run. Here, wait. I have to get something open. I will be back. like this, we're going to want to glue down this bar only, right? Well, also this orange one right here. Also, you want to glue down the two bars that are meeting each other. This one is already glued that down. That are hidden. That are hidden. So, I don't know. It's all under control. Anyway. The faster it dries, the better. So you want some fast drying super glue, but not too fast where if you spill it on you, then it's not coming off. Then that's just terrible. Oh, wow, this on. is insane. This is really fast. Alright. No, this is 30 seconds dry. Gotta use a stick towel. Dab up the edges. Make sure you glue the cap down along with these two center pieces so that. The two caps that are hidden. Yeah, the two caps. So that you cannot rotate this top face or the bottom face. And then this is optional, it's just better so that it actually has a better surface. You want to sand up the two edges that are being the blue one for you. No, it's the blue one. Oh, yeah, the blue one. Sorry. You don't want to, you don't want to sand it up a bit so it's a bit more level and it sticks better. Good idea, Scott. Yeah, once you feel your cube is sanded enough and not utterly destroyed, what you're gonna do. What are you doing? Oh, you're putting glue on that side. Mm -hmm. You wanna get a dab of glue on the side that you sand, just 
gently. You only need to down. do it on one because. Yeah, but still, it's better if you do it on both. Don't put too much. Don't let it swim between the cracks unless you want to destroy your puzzle. All right, let me see it. This car is highly. All right, so we want blue showing the most. So we're gonna glue it like this. Yeah. And then you have exactly. to hold it there really tightly for a little bit of time. 30 seconds. 30 seconds, usually. We'll just leave it. Well, you can hold that while I start. Uh, the two, the by two, two by twos. All right. This one's missing a cap, which is why I'm doing this. So obviously I have to glue up that part. Let's see here. I didn't do this. Mm. Hmm. Like this, probably. Wait. That's some unfortunate. Alright, so blue and green are going to be on the same side. I have to do that so red is just one face. But anyway, this one's going to be easy. You don't take it any pieces because of the mechanism. But, yeah. So glue down on one of the faces. Well, your 3x3 three three or 2x4. Or, or, or Paramix or 1x1 one one dries. And these are stickerless, so... It, yeah, it helps actually, if you use it with stickerless cubes. But if you use it with a sticker cube... I think it's better with sticker cubes because you can see like a little bit white of white right here. Yeah. I might paint over that sometime. But, yes. Are those dried? I don't know, but... They are. Yeah. So now... Wait, just a second. Don't turn it yet. We, yeah. we have to make sure that we didn't see them between... Right, so you're going to want to hold it there for about a minute around time, depending on how fast your glue dries. To make sure. Just to make sure it's tight and doesn't fall apart. Pyramids. Alright, these are my old pyramids. Uh, so you want to hold them probably at the same angle like this. So it can go just like this. You're going to take out one edge piece. This is a really tight pyramid. So you want me to take out this piece? No. Nope. Oh. Got it. Pyramids is all his. We'll be back with the screwdriver. Yeah. So, once your cubes are dry, you just have to make sure that none keeps in between the cracks. Uh oh. If some does seep in between the cracks, try to break open the glue like that before it gets too caught up. I've got your cube driver. Alright. The cube driver. We need a lot of glue. We need quite a bit of glue hot in between the cracks. You do not want that. Glue gets in between the cracks. There goes your side piece cube. Well, you just have to break it off. I like the cap right there. Dude, you have to loosen. Dude, I can't break it off. We fix that <laughs> afterwards. Oh, well, we'll fix this afterwards. This actually happened the last time I tried to do this. You just have to, like, break it. Anyway, it's that should be loose enough. I'm not even sure if this is actually going to fix it this wrong. Let me get it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Alright, that's loose enough. I'll let you deal with this. I don't wanna. Alright, got that piece out right there. And if this doesn't look disorienting, you're a weird person. Alright, here we go. There are stickers right here, so I'm gonna peel those off. Oh, that's really weird to solve with a two by two. Because some of the pieces may be on the other side of the cube. Alright, now just apply the glue. This is what a mixed up 2x2 two two, um, Siamese cube would look like. We'll do a review and solve video. Mm -hmm. um, As for now, I will try to solve this. Eventually. Eventually. Now, before the glue gets everywhere. So right. uh, I knew that wasn't right. This is really, really confusing to solve, Sebastian. 
Hold it like this. Keep doing that. Ha <laughs> Up at the yellow layer. You know your two-sided algorithms. Most of them are. Oh wait, why didn't I just do it like this? Uh, almost tried. And then put the tap back on. Yeah, I saw it one beat. Oh, this is so weird to solve. Okay, once you do solve it, you feel successful like you're a beast at two by two. Alright, that's all dry. This looks very awesome. <laughs> that right. looks so weird. I'm not sure how this is going to be solved. Boom, and now I have solved the 2x2 two two, um, Siamese. Not As you can see, if you take the stickers off, it'll make it turn better. But black. this is showing black. Not a huge problem since... Yo, that's like, weird. Anyway. Let me see, I want to mix it up. Yes! Well, that, that pretty much concludes this video. Bye. How the heck do you twist this?